today we will continue reading chapter seven in holes. Chapter seven is quite long, so we've broken it up into a few parts. Let's start off by reviewing what happened in holes when we began reading chapter seven yesterday. Pause the video to discuss. Good readers prove it. That means when readers have an opinion, they back it up with evidence from the text. That means we're going to learn to be text detectives. We are going to use evidence from the text to support, which means to back up our opinions. To help you do this, you can use some of these sentence stems. So if you are trying to back up your opinion on maybe why a character is acting a certain way or why certain events are taking place, you can use one of these sentence stems. They include, you could give a page number such as on page blank it said, in paragraph blank it said, I know because the author said, for example, based on the text, from what I read, I know that. During our reading today, you will be thinking deeply about the characters and their actions and their thoughts. And at the end of our reading today, I will be giving you a statement and you will have to support the statement with evidence from the text and you will be using one of these sentence stems. So make sure you're listening very carefully today so that you are able to complete that activity at the end of our read aloud. Stanley's great great grandfather was named Elia Yelmats. He was born in Latvia. When he was 15 years old, he fell in love with Myra Menke. He didn't know he was Stanley's great great grandfather. Myra Menke was 14. She would turn 15 in two months, at which time her father had decided she should be married. Elia went to her father to ask her, Elia went to her father to ask for her hand, but so did Igor Barkov, the pig farmer. Igor was 57 years old. He had a red nose and fat puffy cheeks. I will trade you my fattest pig for your daughter, Igor offered. And what have you got? Myra's father asked Elia. A heart full of love, said Elia. I'd rather have a fat pig, said Myra's father. Desperate, Elia went to Madame Zeroni, an Egyptian woman who lived on the edge of town. She had become, he had become friends with her, though she was quite a bit older than him. She was even older than Igor Barkov. The other boys of his village liked to mud wrestle. Elia preferred visiting Madame Zeroni and listening to her many stories. Madame Zeroni had dark skin and a very wide mouth. When she looked at you, her eyes seemed to expand and you felt like she was looking right through you. Elia, what's wrong? She asked. Before he could even, before he even told her he was upset. She was sitting in a homemade wheelchair. She had no left foot. Her legs stopped at her ankle. I'm in love with Myra Menke, Elia confessed. But Igor Barko has offered to trade his fattest pig for her. I can't compete with that. Good, said Madame Zeroni. You're too young to get married. 
you've got your whole life ahead of you. But I love Myra. Myra's head is as empty as a flower pot, but she's beautiful. And this picture on the right is a map uh, that shows Europe and it shows the country of Latvia that is in Europe. So is a father, flower pot. Can she push a plow? Can she milk a goat? No, she is too delicate. Can she have an intelligent conversation? No, she is silly and foolish. Will she take care of you when you're sick? No, she is spoiled and will only want you to take care of her. So she's beautiful. So what? Madame Zeroni spat in the dirt. She told Elia that he should go to America. Like my son, that's where your future lies, not with Myra Menke. But Elia would hear none of that. He was 15 and all he could see was Myra's shallow beauty. Madame Zeroni hated to see Elia so forlorn. Against her better judgment, she agreed to help him. It just so happens my soul gave birth to a litter of piglets yesterday, she said. There is one little runt whom she won't suckle. You may have him. He would die anyways. Madame Zeroni led Elia around the back of her house to where she kept her pigs. Elia took the tiny piglet but he didn't see what good it would do him. It wasn't much bigger than a rat. He'll grow, Madame Zeroni assured him. Do you see that mountain on the edge of the forest? Yes, said Elia. On the top of the mountain, there is a stream where the water runs uphill. You must carry the piglet every day to the top of the mountain and let him drink from the stream. As it drinks, you are to sing to him. She thought she taught Elia a special song to sing to the pig. On the day of Myra's 15th birthday, you should carry the pig up the mountain for the last time. Then take it directly to Myra's father. It will be fatter than any of Igor's pigs. If it's that big and fat, asked Elia, how will I be able to carry it up the mountain? The piglet is not too heavy for you now, is it? Asked Madame Zeroni. Of course not, said Elia. Do you think it will be too heavy for you tomorrow? No. Every day you will carry the pig up the mountain. It will get a little bigger, but you will get a little stronger. After you give the pig to Myra's father, I want you to do one more thing for me. Anything, said Elia. I want you to carry me up the mountain. I want to drink from the stream and I want to sing this. I want you to sing the song to me. Elia promised he would. Madame Zeroni warned that if he failed to do this, he and his descendants would be doomed for all of eternity. At the time, Elliot thought nothing of the curse. He was just a 15 year old kid and eternity didn't seem much longer than a week from Tuesday. Besides, he liked Madame Zeroni and would be glad to carry her up the mountain. He would have done it right then and there, but he wasn't strong enough, but he wasn't yet strong enough. And that is where we are going to leave off today in chapter seven. So in this chapter, we learned about a new character and it is Stanley's great, great grandfather, Elia. And he is in love with a young girl named Myra Menke. And now it's your turn to use what we've learned. 
Alia is determined to marry Myra. How do you know he's determined to marry her? How do you know that? You're going to be using evidence right from the text that we learned today that would support this idea that Elia is determined to marry Myra. He wants to so bad. So right now in the chat, I want you to use one of these sentence stems to support your reasoning that Elia wants to marry Myra. He's determined to do so. Use one of these sentence stems to give an example right from the text. I know because the author said, for example, based on the text, from what I read, I know that. So I will be looking for you using one of these sentence stems and then afterwards giving an example right from the text that tells you that Elia is determined to marry Myra. 